When you can't afford to get that gaming PC you want, you learn to be a legend in your own mind, like me. I'm tossing in an E3 1230, which is 4 cores, 8 threads. As long as you turn on hyper-threading in the BIOS, it's set to off by default. I just love to tinker and the Z210 will handle Xeon CPUs, ECC RAM, or 9ECC. So as long as you update the BIOS and clear it when changing around parts, you should have no problem. I'm curious how a $30 CPU I found on eBay can boost the socket 1155 made for 2nd gen Intel chips. And oh, I can't forget the two 4GB mismatched unbuffered DDR3 sticks I have. And then there's the one times PCIe riser I had laying around, and an RX 570 8GB I got for Christmas. Will this all work? I don't know. That's the fun of tinkering. I didn't want my card to fall over and ground out, so I screwed the riser to a piece of plastic and drilled a hole to keep the cables neat. After some testing, I would get random shutdowns, so I added an extra power supply. Since the 24 pin won't be attached to the motherboard, I bridged the green and black wire together to get it working. Hey man, you skipped here just to see if it works. Ha! I haven't tried it yet. I gotta go get the fire extinguisher, and this dang video is gonna keep playing, so let's go. Well, I tried just about every neat trick to get this old HP up to par and get some uh, of that, uh, what's that called? That thing where you put it up in the corner to overlay. Get some of that FPS. Come on, FPS. Come on, get you some of that FPS. Come on, get you some of that FPS. Anyways, um, I think we got something now. And I'm telling you, I am super excited. How about you? You can't do that with an HP. You gotta be kidding me.